Well, as you can all see, it's been raining. But tonight is the first night of the cleanouts around here. I'd love to know if they're getting word of that wheelbarrow or not. I would imagine they are. But this is my first stop, and I don't want to fill up with big stuff yet. We got ourselves another bike, boys and girls. Spider-Man bike this time. Oh, couldn't take that grill, but it would take up all the room in the van, and we got a whole city to get through tonight, so. What do you got, boys? Snowblower. Yard machines. So we can get that in, I think. I just get done going, well, I don't want any big and bulky. <laughs> there you go. Here's a snowblower for you. I do here. Cut it in the wrong spot. I did. All right. Look at this guy here, everybody. He's got a flashing yellow light on his rig. He's out here getting all the metal. Look at that. Oh, it's a Bissell. Yeah, I ain't saving any Bissells. I think Bissells are the biggest pieces of junk on the planet. mess with that tin shelf. There's just not enough weight to make it worth your while. Wow, look at that old one. Jeepers. That's cool. Huh. Boy, if you were looking for a project, that'd be it right there. That ain't bad. Be a lot of work, though. Well, this time we got a Red Devil, and they, they fall pretty much in the same class as the Bissell. But they got a nice cord on them, that's for sure. Not bad. 
couple piles up here yet, but I don't see any metal from here. I need tax strips too. Wow. Satellite dish. Tell myself, don't grab the bulky stuff. What do I do? Grab the bulky stuff. The faucet there too. Okay. How you doing? It's off. Yeah. I have a I have a locker. Yeah. No, I probably couldn't haul it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying. Maybe big. Metal locker. It's a locker. Yeah. 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 Can you help getting it out? I can take it off. Maybe oh. Yeah. Okay. Because you have a lot of stuff in Yeah, I already got a lot of stuff and yeah. it's yeah, but I'll be back tomorrow night. So Oh okay, okay, I'll put it right here. Okay, perfect. Okay. Alright, yeah. thanks. Yeah. No that one. No that one. This is not that one. okay at all. I only want metal anyway. All right. <laughs> all right. Shot bag. Well, what do I want is the tack strips. I need those for a bedroom upstairs at the rental property. Ouch. All right. Excellent. I want this wagon. I could see that being real, real handy. Let's see. I'm sure this is probably more of those strips, which I know those are light bulbs. Okay. Hmm. Is that metal? That's wood or some type of composite. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I wonder if I got those straps. Oh, those straps are straps are in the truck there, right? Ah shoot. Like I love those flower pots too. Alright. Can't have it all. has some weight to it. bike boys and girls Sony uh, CD player uh, 
with this, you're gonna have some weight to it. And look at there, some string. Hey, maybe, maybe, what do you think what I'm thinking? There's all the springs. All right, so that gave us four individual strings. So I'm gonna go back over there with that wagon, strap it down to the top. But first, we're gonna find a spot for this thing because it's got a lot of weight to it. like that. All right, now, this is gonna lay down like that. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. There we go. There we go, that ain't going nowhere. Nice. All right, so now I'm gonna be looking for smaller stuff for obvious reasons oh I should put this in Diane's yard oh that's classic love it right. heating element chair. I should put that in Kylie's yard, that bird. Oh my gosh, she would die. No, I wouldn't want to do that. She, she's too good to me. Chain link action. Some more pink flamingos over here. Dude, righteous, dude. It's righteous. They just had legs. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, that's funny. Owner's, owner's here. Okay, I'm not taking the weeder. I'm not taking the fence because there's just nothing but space hog, you know? No weight. This has got a lot of uh, aluminum on it. I think that'll do it. See that guy there? 
he pulled up right behind me, which first of all, if you're going through a pile, just don't do that. Second of all, he's grabbing all the penguins, or the penguins, the flamingos. <laughs> he was having a good old time grabbing them up. Dude, stop following me. Are you kidding me? Find a different route to go. Oh, he took the hint. Good. Maybe you heard me. <laughs> I just don't ever think that's cool to come up on come up on somebody who's picking. Even if you're not looking for the same thing. What do you think of that? Wilton candy mold mega pack. That could be resale. It's got some weight to it. Let's see. Well, I would just cut the cord, but I'm gonna throw it in as is. The whole thing can go to the scrapyard. Yeah, that's gotta be worth something somebody. Candy mold and make a pack. We got here a little freezer. Just a little freezer action. Oh my gosh, we got oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we got three vacuum there. Three vacuum. Oh we got we got a wind tunnel by Hoover. Got a swivel, got a TV, a microwave, some type of a maybe CD or DVD player. Yeah. The only one I would even consider would be the wind tunnel and it looks disgusting. So I'm just going to take the cords off them. Those are cool mugs though. I want to check those out. It's got a kind of a hard shape. Let's see here. Nasty that one is. Cord, huh? These are kind of cool. So you have four mugs. They do have a name on the bottom of them. It's a four set. This here's a six set. I don't know what name that is, though. If you can't read it, how are you going to see what it's worth? Those are cool, but I think I'm going to leave them. I'm sure there's somebody out there going, You idiot! How could you be so stupid to leave those mugs? They're worth a small fortune. Well, yeah, not to me, they're not. Oh, there you go there. All right. Grab this TV from my man. Hope it's worth your time. Westinghouse. Anything else? Lamp. 
Bike's too big and bulky. Could take the lamp. I want to see what else is out here. Dang. This reminds me of my grandfather right here. My grandfather, when I was a kid, went, went to his house in a small town in Makoka there. And he had me take the this part of the deck off of a moor. And we took it over to the local scrapyard. He took a magnet. He showed me that his was aluminum. And uh, so we turned it in. Sure enough, he gave me that money and I got to keep it. It was like, you know, we're talking back in the 1970s. So it was like two, two or three bucks maybe. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was a lot to a kid like me, you know? I'll always remember that. I'm like, yeah, that's how... That was my first scrapping experience with my grandfather. This should look pretty flat, I think. So, if you remember in the last video, I picked up a really nice spade handle or spade head, but the handle was busted off. I got a potato fork here. Maybe, maybe I can put that on, that spade head on that fork handle. Wilson golf gloves. Come on now. Somebody's holding out on me here. Nice putter, Wilson putter. We got some old ones here. What we got here? Pro Maker. Oh, for a second I thought that was a wooden handle when I was gonna be like, yeah, super score. All right, what else we got? some more more parts there's so much stuff out tonight it's unbelievable ooh ooh la la Electronic motor, electric motor, some copper on that baby, huh? How about a vintage hockey stick? Wall hanger. I don't know what this would have been for, but we'll take it. Well, that is heavy. It is narrow and heavy. That is the name of the game right now. What is metal? Probably leave them. Miter box. I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. Amen, brother. We all need a little Jesus. What's this one? When life gets too hard to stand, kneel, and pray. Oh, we need that right now, that's for sure. I wonder if I should grab them. All right, all right. I think this pile is done for. Oh, look, there's a whole other pile. See, this is why we come back multiple nights this week. There's so much stuff here, man. I don't think that's copper. It's metal. Take it with us. 
this. What we got here? We got a Eureka. That one's been cut already. Oh, come on, baby. The Eureka's still here. Wheelchair. I don't know. I want to pass on the wheelchair. How about the grill and the picnic table? Right? Two in one, you just have your party, you're good to go. And then over here you get your vanity, you get your vanity to clean up with afterwards. Oh, there's a fire pit bling. And every corner you turn, there's more and more stuff being put out. This is the most beautiful time of the year. What the heck? We got the carcass of a three-wheeler out here. That's amazing. Huh. Wow. Yet another grill. Thinking with all, oh, there's a, yeah, there's a vacuum cleaner there. It could be a good one too, I'm not sure. But what I do know is that that tank, to, I can get that tank refilled and use that for my metal, uh, shoot. For my metal melting foundry, whatever. What do we got here? Dirt Devil. Nope, not a nice one. Mama J's cutters. Always think about Mama J when I'm using them. Week and I says, you let me know if I'm grabbing too many of them, you know, TV monitors for you. He's like, you keep grabbing them, I'll keep taking them. <laughs> I'm sure his wife loves to hear that. Bag. What do you think? I don't see anything wrong with that, do you? What about this? Oh, wizards. You shall not pass. Alright, how about this grill here? Hooked. Heck yeah. That'll save me 20 bucks on a refill. 
Or at least have an extra tank laying around, right? Let's see here. This is where it starts to get a little sketchy. Electric scooter. Think I can get that in? It's a razor. <laughs> I think we're gonna try and put that in. I hear all you naysayers out there going, no, you won't do it, Shane man. If you can't do it, things too full. I say watch the master. Another grill, nice big cart there. I don't see much jumping out at me on that side of the street. Starting to walk a little slower. Oh. That's a nice one. It's a nice light. Do I need a flathead speed? I don't think so. I'll leave the rest of that. There's an item down here that I want. And I'm going to put it right here next to me in this seat if it'll fit. It's perfect for what I need at the house. We want to make little fires on the bottom patio. And there it is right there, that fire, fire little mini fire pit. Is that cute or what? figure out how to do it without getting everything so cruddy. Let's see here. I don't want to break that though. Now this is where the master skills <laughs> come into play. If Bob were here, I'd say, hey Bob, hold that out the window. There we go. Like a glove. Well guys, I think I'm almost at maximum here. Almost. However, I had to grab the scooter. Still looks good enough to ride if you ask me. He's got all the grills. <laughs> I just bought a bag of quick creep. For those fence posts that's funny i'm gonna see if i can squeeze some of this in here and this is probably going to be it for tonight folks i'll be back here tomorrow night with bob and the truck and the van and maybe even the trailer depending on how things go first thing we grab were these golf clubs and here comes somebody of course up a lot of good stuff in the dark. There's a bicycle. I suppose I can make get those to fit in, those chairs. Hmm. That did move. <laughs> so my camera died and you can see there uh, a few blocks after when it died I found a mongoose. I'm not kidding you. It is adult size mongoose element. 
and uh, Kristen's grandson has been looking for a bike and I've had a couple I was like yeah they're kind of okay but most of them are crap uh, this is exceptional I gotta say just exceptional uh, so I'm very excited about this it's gonna be kind of hard to see but I think it is totally complete. The, the front brakes work. I have not tested the back brakes yet. Yep, they work too. And uh, tires, maybe they just need a little bit of air. It's got a kickstand. I really don't see anything wrong with this other than I'm too old to ride it. <laughs> yeah, tires are too low. But yeah, no, I think she's perfect. Needs a little, little, uh, a little air. So there you go, Tyler. I think this is gonna be perfect for you. Freaking mongoose! Woo! All right, guys. So well, that's gonna wrap it up. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. <laughs> Got a nice project right there, and the van is of course full. This is just night number one. Bob and I are gonna go out tomorrow. And then we have there are probably about three nights this week. And then we have what? We have uh, Geneseo coming up next week. So we're gonna have some good videos coming out. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.